Hello, my name is Joel Labava. I'm the Franchise King, and I wanted to talk to you about the top franchise trends of 2014. 2014, what happened? How did 2013 go by so fast? I'm sure it has nothing to do with age. The older you get, the faster it goes. Because I know when I was a little kid, I was just thinking about this too. You know, I was seven, eight years old, sitting in second or third grade, watching the clock and waiting for it to get to three o'clock so I can get out of school. It seemed like two o'clock to three o'clock took a lot more than an hour. But now, all of a sudden, three months, six months, a year go by. I mean, it is blow by. It is unreal. Anyway, we are in 2014. Welcome to the new year. For the sixth time in a row, I have written a comprehensive Franchise Trends article for Anita Campbell's website, Small Biz Trends. I can't believe this is the sixth one I've done. I'm going to show you where to find it in a moment. Uh, but first, I wanted to talk about something that is really, really good news if you're thinking of becoming a franchise owner this year. You, as a franchisee, are going to start having a lot more power. That's what I predict because of things that have happened at, for instance, McDonald's. All of a sudden, McDonald's corporate office caved a little bit and decided to get rid of the dollar menu. The dollar menu has been around for years and it brought a lot of revenue in to McDonald's headquarters. It brought revenue in to McDonald's franchisees, but not a lot of profit. Franchisees really, really said to themselves, you know what, I, I can't take it anymore. I I've had enough. We've got to start making more money. Our expenses are going up and, and we just need to make more money. We have to lose the dollar menu. Anyway, a few franchisees got together and they must have been some pretty powerful ones because all of a sudden, there's no more dollar menu. It's the dollar menu and more. This is good news for you. Well, if you like McDonald's, it's good news for you because you can still get great food at a reasonable price. But better yet, if you're going to become a franchise owner this year, you're going to have a little more power than you used to. Social media has a lot to do with it. 24-7 media and news has a lot to do with it because things can't be kept quiet too much and, and things become viral. So it's one of the trends that I talked about. If you want to become a franchise owner this year, 2014, make sure you read the article because you're going to learn a lot about what's coming up on the franchise map this year. Go to smallbiztrends.com. Matter of fact, I'll put the link right underneath this post and you'll be able to find it easily. Leave some comments under the post. Let me know what you think. If you have some predictions for some trends this year, put them in there. I'm Joel Lababa, the Franchise King. Welcome to 2014.